Oh, look who's here. Time to change the locks again. I knocked this time. Bodan let me in. Guess what? Castillon's in town, and I'm not waiting around for him to stick a knife in my vitals. We're going to get him before he gets me. We're going to surprise Castillon. I love surprises. Unfortunately, Castillon's holed up somewhere in Kirkwall. I haven't been able to find him. I do know where Velasco is, however. That's his right hand. We just have to make him tell us where Castillon is. Somehow. What a plan. Your scheming ability puts me to shame. Well, I haven't worked out all the kinks. Step one, we go to Velasco. Step two, something exciting happens. Step three, profit. Well, do you have a better idea? Couldn't we just ask Velasco where Castillon is? Nicely. He's not going to reveal anything willingly. I can't risk him getting suspicious and alerting Castillon. Castillon wants you. Why not let Velasco bring you to him? And you follow me? Ooh, that's clever. I was going to suggest challenging Velasco to a riddle game and making Where's Your Boss one of the riddles. This is so much better. I'm ready whenever you are. Velasco's been spending his nights at the brothel, enjoying its many splendors. That's where we'll find him. That's his room over there. Are you ready? Yes, I think so. Now, this needs to be convincing. And you'll need to get creative. Call me names, even hit me. Stick with it, no matter what I do. Velasco's a clever son of a bitch. If you waver, he'll notice. I'm worried about you. You're enjoying this a little too much. I am, aren't I? <laughs> Whatever you do, just make sure he takes me to Castillon. I'll leave a trail for you to follow. Let's go. Ah! What? Get back here, you... Eat this bitch. I hope you have a good reason for interrupting my private time. I brought you a new plaything. She's much less timid. Are you insane? You should see the look on your face. This wasn't the plan. We were going to kill him. Remember that time you ran off with the Tome of Coslin? This is like that. Only funnier. You backstabbing little shit. You'd better start sleeping with one eye open. Castillo will be pleased. He's been looking for Isabella for some time. A token of our appreciation. It's more than she is worth. Why don't we work something out? If you're good, I'll tell Castillo to go easy on you. Contrary to popular belief, I do have standards. You're going to do whatever I want. I own you. You sure about that? You! I knew the bitch was up to something! Kill them! Velasco sent word to Castillon. He's on his way. Let's look around first. I want to know why he's in Kirkwall. And Velasco told me you were all tied up. A lovely present just waiting to be opened. I see he's paid for that little mistake. What a pretty smear he makes. Well played, Isabella. Crossed and double crossed. You want to talk? Maybe we should talk about these documents. Slavery in the free marches? They're not going to like that. Get to the point. Give me your ship, and your word to leave me alone, and you can take these papers and go. If you want the ship, can't we just kill him and take it? You don't just kill a man and take his ship. That's crude and amateurish. How will he tell everyone how I bested him if he's dead? Can you trust him? 
He trades people for money. Castillon's a businessman, and this is a business deal. He'll keep his end of the bargain. Ah, Isabella. Always full of surprises. I see I wasn't the only one played today. Give me the documents, and you can have the ship. And you will never hear from me again. Swear it. I swear it on my mother's grave. Give me the documents. You've made your decision, Isabella. Do as you wish. The ship is yours. Let me say, my dear, that you would make a remarkable ally for any man able to tame you. Our business is hereby concluded. Forever. Be well, Isabella. This is going to come back to bite you. You know that, right? I've got the fastest ship on the ocean. It's got to catch me in order to bite me. If you're looking to sail off, I think the sun sets that way. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Yet. I owe you all this, you know. I've got a feeling something big's about to happen. Knowing you, you'll be right in the middle of it. I wouldn't miss that for the world. Come on. You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. So when do I get the grand tour? Of the ship? It's not fit to be seen. Castillon had an obsession with mustard-colored satin. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> now that I have my ship, I'll need a new crew. And I'd like to have someone like you on board. Someone I can really trust, who has my back, no matter what happens. I can't just leave Meryl. Then bring her along. A blood mage obsessed with mirrors is a useful thing to have on a ship. I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> a toast to friendship and to us. Got a minute, Hawk? I know this is ancient history, but remember that high town house Bartrand barricaded himself in? Bartrand doesn't exactly need the place now that he's in the sanitarium. I've been trying to sell it. I can only imagine there's a huge market for the homes of deranged killers. Well, the creepy sort of people who are interested are generally not the ones with the coin to take it off my hands. I found a minor noble in Ravain who bought the place sight unseen. But now there's a problem. They say the place is... haunted. Bartrand's atrocities must have weakened the barrier between this world and the Fade. Maker, I hope not. I don't think I can fix the Veil through applied use of force. They've noticed some minor problems. Uh, voices whispering in the walls, apparitions, things moving on their own. My hope is it's a relic Bartrand brought back from the Deep Roads. We smash it, and the haunting stops. What happens if we do nothing? Best case? They drag me before the Seneschal and accuse me of fraud. The worst case involves Antivan crows. I'm not an expert on hauntings, but what if smashing something does not make the problem go away? Ah, that's where things get tricky. You're a mage. You must know something about weird shit. I'm sure you'll be able to figure something out that will help. Can't you do this yourself? Hawk, I'm a businessman. Now and then, I shoot people. I don't know anything about ghosts or magic. It's entirely possible that even if I find the thing that's causing the trouble, I won't be able to stop it on my own. Very well. We'll investigate the mansion. Again. Thanks, Hawk. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Look at this. My brother's junk was left here. You wouldn't know it, but Bartrand was a sentimentalist. This came from our estate in Orzammar. 
When I was seven, I knocked over one of Mother's plates and broke it. My brother yelled at me for an hour. This was made by the artisans of House Saldras. The clay was from the Adros Etuna River, which never sees the sun! Arr! He was that upset over a dish? I don't think it was a dish to Bartrand. That stupid plate was the whole city of Orzammar to him. Are you real? You've got to get out of here before it comes back. Where's the idol? What idol? Don't waste my time with your lies. Tell me where it is. I didn't exactly want to stay for dinner, but I think we've got a few minutes to hear her out. She's hiding something, Hawk. Don't lie to me. I know it's here. You must have found it. I swear. I don't know anything about an idol. Please. Maker, no! It's starting again! I should have known Bartrand would lie to me. Of course he'd keep a piece of the statue for himself. Think of what we could do with this. I don't know about you, Varric, but I don't want to end up like Bartrand. I'm not my brother, Hawk. The idol drove him crazy, but this is just one tiny piece. I need this thing. Six years of my life have gone into this. And there we go again. This thing's magic seemed only more potent when broken. The Shard is my only hope of curing Bartrand. It's my only chance to set any of this right. Varric, if you keep that thing, you'll go mad, I'll have to kill you, and Bianca will be heartbroken. You're not listening, Hawk. I know I can handle this Shard. That thing is cursed. It ruined your brother, and it'll ruin you, too. Get rid of it. Fine. I don't really want to argue about this anyway. Take it. It's your problem now. Maybe Enchantment Boy can dispose of the thing for you. That was the right decision, Hawk. You've saved him great pain. Let's go. I think I could use some air. Think you can do something with this sandal? Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested Sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Ooh, enchantments. Listen, Hawk. I don't know what came over me back there in Bartrand's house. I'm glad you're watching my back. That's what I'm here for. That and doing all the fighting. You know what I like about you, Hawk? Your humility. What are you having? Edwina, let's get a couple of drinks here. Hawk? Ugh. This is awkward. You? At a loss for words? I should mark this day on my calendar. Enjoy this while it lasts. It might never happen again. Look, I just want to say... It has been an honor knowing you. Are you about to die? Am I? Why so serious all of a sudden? Don't panic, I just needed to get that off my chest. You know it's six years today. Six years since I found you dragging your tail out of Bartrand's office. <laughs> Here's to whatever comes next. So, you've done well for yourself. I had my doubts the first time I saw you, but I guess there was something to that hawk fellow Leandra ran off with after all. You made a pretty good son anyway. Your mother would be proud. I just wish mother had lived to see me become champion. I know Leandra, and she'd be absolutely glowing from all the praise that's been heaped on you. I don't say this often, but we're the only family we've both got left. For a long time, I thought the Amel line in Kirkwall would end at me. I'm glad you've pulled it out of the grave. That note mentioned the gem of Kereshek. What's that? It's nothing. Never mind. 
This gem sounds pretty impressive. It has a name and everything. Ah, don't be stupid. I lost everything chasing that gem. Our fortune, our home, even Mara. Who's Mara? She's... None of your concern. That's who she is. Why don't you head back to your fancy house in Hightown and stay out of my damn business? Are you the ones who sent the note about the gem of Kerashek? We were beginning to think you wouldn't show. It's rude to keep people waiting, you know? It's not like I don't got things to do. To inconvenience an upstanding citizen such as yourself. My, where are my manners? Don't talk down to me. I ain't stupid. See, we was hired to give you a note. But this gem of Kirashek thing the note talks about... We decided we want that instead. You better hand it over. I'm surprised you know what a note is, let alone know how to read one. I don't need to know how to read. All I need to know is which end of the sword goes where. We aren't going anywhere without that gem. What do you want now? What in the Maker's name is a wallop mallet? <laughs> Haven't played wallop since I was a kid. Still got my mallet up on the wall, though. Last time I was any good at something. I can't believe they used the wood from a Venandal tree to make this wallop mallet. It's just a child's toy. Wallop mallet? You must be the one I'm supposed to give this note to. This person is like an underpaid brothel wench. He enjoys leading us on. I was given a few coins to hand this over to whoever came asking about wallop mallets. Unfortunately, the person was hooded, and it was dark. I didn't get a good look. Obviously a human, though. No mistaking that. Even hooded, you all look alike. So, Gamlin couldn't even be bothered to come himself. I should have expected he'd send you, cousin. You never told me you had a cousin. I have a cousin. Gamlin never told you. I... Of course he didn't. Why would he? Sorry to interrupt this touching family reunion. But we have unfinished business here. Veld! What are you doing here? Mechel is dead. That bastard killed him. What's a Mechel? My brother! Mechel was my brother! And you killed him! That doesn't make sense. Mechel was just supposed to hand over the note. You really think we didn't read it? We know about the gem Sherard. Hand it over. I won't let Mechel's death be for nothing. You let your brother go up against someone like Hawk for a stupid gem? You know what? I did find the gem, but you're not getting your pathetic little hands on it, Veld. Fine. We'll do this the hard way. <laughs> you're pretty useful in a fight. You don't take after Gamlin at all. And I wouldn't have taken you for his daughter. What with being able to fight? I guess I should take that as a compliment. My mother, Mara. She left Gamlin before I was born. He was so fixated on finding that stupid gem. I doubt he even noticed she was gone. She told me about Gamlin before she died last year. I didn't even know about him. You told Veld you had the gem. Were you lying? Not at all. I found the gem. I managed to pull off what Gamlin couldn't. You say Gamlin is obsessed with this gem, but he never mentioned it before your note turned up. Maybe he didn't want you to know about it. He mentioned he lost a lot searching for the gem. Maybe he gave up on it. That would be a surprise, to say the least. Next time you want to talk to someone, maybe try knocking on their door first. Oh yes, that sounds brilliant. Just show up on his doorstep and say, Hi, I'm your daughter. I doubt that would go over well. I just wanted to see, I don't know, how far he'd go for something he really wanted. And then he doesn't even show up. I baited him with the one thing I thought would get his attention. He's got some good qualities. You might be surprised. Really? What do you think I should do? I think you should go talk to Gamlin. Does he even know about you? I... I'm not sure. Having family might be more worthwhile than you think. Maybe give him a chance before you write him off. 
I think I will. Having a cousin turned out to be a good thing. Maybe having a father will too. You've got to realize this is kind of new to me. I didn't know Mara had a baby. If I did, I would have... Well, I don't know. Gone after her or something. She used to say I was so much like you. And I didn't even know who you were. I guess I wanted to see for myself. I need some time to think about all this, but... If it's all right, I'd like to come back and talk more. I think I'd like that. Uh, keep, um, uh, safe. Looks like you two had a good talk. It was bloody awkward, that's what. I was worried she wouldn't come find you. I think you need each other. You know, I may not say this very often, but I'm glad you're one of the family. But seriously, next time... Stay out of my damn business, boy.